Welcome to Paradois Diaries short film series on keeping small holding animals. Today our episode focuses on these lovely fluffy clouds known as sheep. In November 2017 we moved to the beautiful Unismorn, the island of Anglesey in northwest Wales to begin the adventure of developing a 12 acre small holding and planting a church all while learning to be parents for the first time. Moving to a tiny rural village called Paradis, which is Welsh for paradise, our pioneering journey has seen us venture way out of our comfort zone, trying new things, succeeding at some and facing challenges in others. This is our way to share our journey, encourage you with yours, and of course, share plenty of inspiring scenery and cute shots of animals and our young family. We are the Radborn family, and this is Paradois Diaries. So these fluffy white clouds that litter the landscape of our beautiful country do come with a bit of a health warning when you're a small holder. You might think that they are an easy way to keep the grass nice and trim, that they can't be much hassle, they look after themselves, don't they? Well, don't be fooled. They are a lot of work, but can be a fantastic addition to any small holding. Let's face it, most small holders are wannabe farmers. I, myself, am definitely included in that number. And this is a great way to kind of make you feel as though you are a farmer. That you're not just kind of playing about with a few chickens here and there that anyone, even in a townhouse, can do. When you have sheep, you are almost a farmer. So these are a great addition to a small holding, pretending to be a farm. So first of all, paperwork. This needs to be registered with the parish holding number and keep track of your stock. Each sheep will need an ear tag too, one in each ear, but don't worry, it's not as involved as pigs, so no need to worry about getting overwhelmed with the paperwork. Just be aware of what you need to do and do your research well. So accommodation, most breeds are happy outdoor all year. Giving them a hedge or a fence or some trees to shelter under will help them out a lot. Ours love to hide into the gorse bushes or underneath the shepherd's hut. So when the worst of the weather comes, when the big southwesterly winds blow, they can find a bit of shelter. When the worst of the rain comes or in the blistering sun as well, they can find some space. The key is make sure your fencing is really secure, otherwise you will spend your life retrieving sheep from all over the place. It does very much depend on what breed you have, but just get that fencing right at the start and it will save you the heartache later on. A couple of practical things, getting some hurdles like these that we've used to create a little crush area to pen them in so that you can get access to them is really important and also obviously access to fresh drinking water um, is needed throughout the year but especially in hot times. So we keep Llanwenog sheep which are a native Welsh breed. They've got a little bit of mountain ewe in them so they're quite hardy but they're actually really a lowland breed so that they're nice and docile, easy to handle. They come to the bucket really well when you want to feed them. So it's easy to draw them in when you need to uh, pen them in to do something with them. The key here is do your research based on your situation. So depending on what sort of grass you have, how the climate is around by you, that will determine what sort of sheep is going to be best. And also what you want to use them for. So a sheep like a Texel, is an excellent um, meat breed. So that is what is used in commercial flocks often. But if we're honest, they're a little bit ugly. So you might want to go for something more like a Ryland or um, a Llanwenog that are beautiful to look at, but maybe don't quite have the yield of meat that other breeds do. It depends on what you're after that really counts. Make sure though that you link in with the society or someone locally that has those breeds. Their knowledge of the breed and of sheep in general, access to their ram or just some help in hand in understanding what sort of ailments can affect that specific breed are really important to have nearby. 
We have a great help with our Llanwenogs from a guy um, along the North Wales coast who has been a fantastic help for us getting set up. On shearing, if you keep a couple, it might be fun to give it a go yourself, as we did, but be warned, it is quite an art, and it will take you a lot longer than you will see at the country shows. You can hire contractors, but for a small number, they may charge you well over the odds, as it is a really busy time of year for them. So consider that on what breed you're getting as well, Certain breeds like Easy Care sheep that shed their wool um, naturally themselves, then maybe they are a good option for your small holding. So health and care of your sheep, they will need bringing in regularly to check their feet and their general health. So a stock of antibiotic spray and other ailment relievers is a must. We've had to trim sore feet, sore infected feet, worm, tag, and the most challenging was maggots in the skin and wool of one ewe. It's not a pretty sight and painful for the poor girl, but she's doing much better now. So for the food, sheep nuts are a great way to train sheep and socialize them so that it is much easier to handle them. And trust me, you will need to handle them at some point. A store of hay for the winter is also important and other mineral supplements like a salt lick will be needed but these are really easy to find from any farm or pet store. And then lambing. You can just keep sheep just to keep the grass down, to have as pets, that is absolutely fine but for most people, especially to really feel as though you're a farmer, you want to be able to have some lambs, and these are our lambs from this year. Um, they're doing really well, so we had eight Clan Renog lambs that um, have been fantastic to have. But it does come with a health warning again. It is a significant <laughs> amount of work. This means you need to find a ram to put to the ewes and be ready for a hectic spring of sleepless nights and the panic of not knowing what to do. And for our ewes, we actually had Reyes at the same week as the lambs. So it was more John that sorted the lambs this year than myself. But be prepared if this is the route you want to go. It is well worth it though, and the lambs are super cute. So sheep are an excellent way to feel like a farmer and to become really a true smallholder. It does take a lot of work. You've got to be really prepared. But as long as you put the effort in beforehand, it is definitely worth the effort. I wish you the best of luck with it. Go and say hello to them.